Ofcom received 900 complaints alleging Mitch was bullying you. How do you feel about that? He was talking to the boys and made a comment about his type, like standard, like the petite brunette, and um, Jess got really upset and it did cause an argument. Hi, I'm Abby and I'm playing Text on the Beach with Cosmo. Subscribe to watch more like this. I've got a text. How would you describe your time in the Love Island Villa? I came into the Love Island Villa in Casa Amor. I, I didn't actually know I was going to be Casa Amor at first. I just was told um, I'll be arriving like later into the villa. Um, so basically not an OG. And um, yeah, when I had my call for Casa, obviously like for Casa it can be like mixed emotions. Like not really sure. Like sometimes people think Casa, like you can only be there for three days and it can be difficult to get back. But I was just excited for the experience. I'm a massive fan of Love Island. So yeah, I just wanted to go and get in the villa and I did have my eye on Mitch. So I don't know, could you say it worked out well? Well, maybe. <laughs> what is your favorite memory from your time on the show? So to be honest, my favorite memory is actually my date with Mitch. When we actually go on the dates, we get taken out of the villa. Me and Mitch went like separately to the date. Um, and then when we got to the beach um, we sort of like walked down and um, like went, went over to our paddle boards and just had like a little chat beforehand and yeah like it's what you see on screen is really what happens like we were just having a load of fun so yeah and then like after we'd done our paddle boarding we just sat and had like another little chat and just enjoyed our time out of the villa like when you're in that villa you all you want to do is like go out so when you get a date it's literally like you're excited to be going on a date with the person that you want to be with because you're in a couple but also you're just excited to be like getting out of the villa and going to like a little bit of normality and do you have a least favorite memory well <laughs> i think there's more than just one least favorite memory in that but um if i had to pick one probably the day that i found out like when whitney told me that mitch had the ick i just felt like everyone was finding out information before me and yeah, it just made me feel really like alone and like isolated in there. Like things in the villa are very different than what normal life. So like, I tried to stay as true to my character as possible. But like, for example, like we are in Love Island. So all the other islanders are telling me like, you can't just get to know Mitch. Like you have to get to know someone else. Like you get, need to get to know Scott as well. And like Scott was literally like putting it on a plate for me. Like he really wanted to get to know me. Um, he'd actually said to me like, I'm going to bombshell into yours and Mitch's sort of like situation. So I was trying to stay as true to myself as possible and like kept reassuring Mitch, but like, on the outside world I just wouldn't have even met up with Scott I wouldn't have entertained it at all um, but obviously we were in Love Island so it is what it is who surprised you the most while you were in the villa I was probably most surprised by Sammy sort of before going in like I had an impression of him that he was like a bit of a player I mean he was like everyone saw how he moved in Casa like kissing Gabby and and um, Amber but I, he's a really like genuinely nice guy and he's so funny probably like one of my other favorite memories is when Sammy did his talent show because I literally was just crying with laughter like we had to like pause so that I could like compose myself also like Sammy like on screen I didn't think he really looked like that tall but when you get in it's literally like your head like has to tip back because he's so tall it's crazy mm -hmm. have you watched any of the show back and were there any scenes that you were surprised weren't aired? I haven't actually watched the show properly, but I have seen obviously little bits on TikTok and like Instagram, people sending me clips as well through. And I'm just surprised that like some of my conversations with Mitch just weren't shown. So we had loads of conversations about like he was saying he's going to take me on holiday, like that we were going to move in together. Um, I think that's sort of why like I fell for him so much. So yeah, like, obviously like came across like a little bit crazy but there was reasons behind it <laughs> what's the biggest argument that we might not have seen Do you know there was a day that i mean it won't be surprising because obviously jess and sammy did have a lot of arguments um but there was a day that um jess had heard sammy make a comment over lunch and like when we're on lunch it's not like we're not allowed to like sit together we sort of get separated like while we're eating and um he was talking to the boys and made a comment about his type like standard like the petite brunette and um, Jess got really upset and it did cause an argument but it all had to get like resolved and squashed before like we resumed again because obviously they were getting on fine before lunch and then after lunch like if they were all angry with each other it would have just been like what was going on? <laughs> we read that Snog Marry Pie was even more dramatic than we saw any goss. When we did the Snog Marry Pie, um, Whitney pied Zach 
And then after she pied him, he like picked up the pie and threw it at Whitney, like to sort of like get her back. Um, and obviously like that kicked off a bit of drama, like Whit was not happy. Like <laughs> it's obviously meant to be a game, but I think he like took it a bit personally. I mean, even I took it quite personally, like that pie that Mitch shoved in my face, he proper like went in and like smushed it in. Um, and the cream is real cream, it's actual whipped cream. So when it gets in your eyes, like all my eyelashes came off and it was like, my eyes were streaming, they were bright red, it was horrific. <laughs> Did anyone get in trouble for breaking villa rules? To be fair, when I was in the villa, I did talk a lot about the outside world. So I would say things like, um, when I'd gone in, it was the like Titanic story, like with the submarine and obviously none of the islanders knew about it. And I was just so excited to tell them all like this interesting like story that had happened in the news. So yeah, I, I got in trouble a little bit for like talking about news stories and stuff. <laughs> Katie has suggested that Scott was messy and caused arguments. What are your thoughts on that? The only thing I'll say about Scott is we lived together for a week after and obviously like we like friend coupled, like we were just friend zoned um, and it sort of like made me realise, oh like thank God like this never would have worked in a relationship because I'm sat there going, oh my God, it's so sunny today. Like let's go out and sunbathe. And he was just going, no, I'm going to play the Xbox and sit inside. Like he was like, get me back to the Welsh rain. So <laughs> wouldn't call Scott messy. I actually think he's very like clean and very organized. Um, the best way I would describe him is literally as a goalkeeper. He literally would sit at the side of the villa and watch everything like go on and then wait until it was time, like in his time. And then he would like shoot his shot and, and his input would go in but it would always hit like he always had like really good comments like obviously the grafties is like a perfect example of that <laughs> when he called Mitch <laughs> so you know like go Scott. <laughs> Ofcom received 900 complaints alleging Mitch was bullying you how do you feel about that? To be honest, I, I think that the word bullying is like a really strong word to use. It could be a little bit too strong because obviously it didn't, I was only in there for four weeks like, and for two of those weeks, me and Mitch got on really, really well. But maybe I would say at times I did feel bullied by Mitch. Like he definitely did make me feel isolated. Um, and I just felt like the comments just kept coming. Like it was never ending. Like it was just one after another after another. Um, and at the time, obviously I was trying to change the connection that I had with Scott from being just friends to being a little bit more and having someone just pick at your relationship and if someone's telling you it's not going to work you don't like her and um, it, it just never could so I don't think me and Scott really got a fair chance to get to know each other. Who are you most and least likely to stay in touch with? So I think the most likely to stay in touch with is Amber. Um, me and her have already, we literally FaceTime every day. Since I've been home, we've been on FaceTime. I was in, on FaceTime to her in holding. I've been on FaceTime to her like since I've been home. I'm seeing her tonight. So yeah, no, we're literally like such good friends. Least likely to stay in touch with would probably be Mitchell um, for obvious reasons. <laughs> From the Love Island finalists, who do you think is most likely to get engaged first? I think Ty and Ella would be the most likely to get engaged first. They actually love each other. Like Ty is actually obsessed with Ella and she just loves him as well. Like you can just see their connection when you're physically there with them. It's so strong. They just want to touch each other all the time. They want to hold each other all the time. Like it's, it's actually so nice to see. And I think it's so nice to have seen their journey from like where they've started and they've come all the way through and really we've we've seen two people fall in love. Um, I think that all the finalists are do have genuine connections. I don't know whether it will Will work on the outside for all of them um, but obviously only time will tell but I do genuinely believe that all of them do have genuine feelings for each other. If you had to recouple with anyone from the series who would it be? Ah, um, I would probably pick Locker and sorry Wit, um, but he's just unreal. Like he's such a nice guy. Um, he's so respectful, so, so respectful. Um, and he makes really good cheese toasties. <laughs> Who was the best and worst person to live with? I would probably say my best and worst person is the same. So at times, obviously Mitch was the best person to live with. And then towards the end of my stay, I would definitely put him as the worst. Like if I had to say consistently the best person to live with, I'd actually say Whitney. She had really sound advice like she was good she kept the the group together like she just she was just a great person to be around and like I just always loved like going to sit with her and we always had good chats and she'd make me laugh what are you most excited for right now 
Um, I'm just excited for like riding the wave and seeing where life takes me. Like I'm just enjoying this. Obviously went into the villa really wanting to find a connection. That was like my whole motive for going in. Um, but now since coming out, like I am single. So the DMs are open if you want to come for me. <laughs> Do you know what? Everyone is asking me who's in my DMs and there are no men. It's literally full of like girls and so much love, but I love that. Like it's, I've, I said like Love Island, I went in looking for love and I did find love, but just not the love I was expecting. So the DMs are full of love, but just not from men. It's just from all the girls and all the support and I, I love it. A lot of the girls are like messaging me saying like they really, like they've been through the same situations as me and like they really relate to me. So um, it's just so nice. Thanks for watching. See you guys soon.